and touchable components of a computer, components that can be seen and touched. And uh, here example of hardware. Anything that you can touch or see in a computer is called hardware. This is um, RAM, I think I showed you earlier. I, uh, if you have not been converted to this one, is the keyboard of a computer. This is the CPU. The one I told you that is, uh, comes in a chip, or also called a processor. This is uh, still hardware. This is RAM. I told you about RAM. This is USB cable. This is the printer cable. This is, uh, this is the motherboard. This is the mouse. Anything that you can touch and uh, see, this is a CD, compact disc, and this is the power connector, connects your, your power supply to the motherboard. This is the keyboard I told you that used to connect hard disk keyboard, I can't remember what it was called, but this is the keyboard that we used to have the old days. This is the power connector for motherboard, and this is the hard disk. I told you how this looks something like this one. This one is the one, the magnetic disc. This keeps rotating, but you cannot see it rotating because it is in, inside. Keeps rotating and then, then there is an arm. You can even see this arm actually. This is an arm moving between the center towards the end. These are the hardware. These are the term, the physical and tangible components of a, of a computer. So uh, there are some examples and they are actually classified into either input devices or output devices or secondary storage devices or the internal components devices so the first one which the first classification which i already i believe you already discussed are the input devices the keyboard the mouse the touch screen etc those are called the input devices the output printer monitor among others, then storage devices, we talked about hard disk, CD, DVD, etc. The internal components are CPU, motherboard, RAM, among others. Then we want to briefly talk about the relationship between the hardware and software. You see that most of them are mutually dependent on each other. Now, I know I might not have mentioned a word about what software is. You might be confident with that term. Software is what you cannot see. These are actually the programs or instructions that run in a computer. They might be programs, they might be instructions, they might be operating system. Anything that you cannot see, but you know, there are instructions that tell computer or tell the hardware what to do. These are referred to as the software. Now we are saying that the hardware and software are mutually dependent on each other. Both of them must work together to make a computer produce a useful output. Software cannot be utilized without the supporting hardware. And hardware cannot do anything without a software. So they are mutually dependent uh, on each other. Now to get a particular job done on the computer, relevant software uh, should be loaded to the hardware. This is the same idea that I know you are very conversant with. That for you to you do anything on your phone, you must download an app that does allows you to do that. So this app is the software, but now this physical gadget is the hardware. So one cannot work without the other. Software cannot work without the hardware and vice versa. Now, hardware is a one-time expense. You normally buy the uh, your phone once, but you keep on looking for new software. Some of them you keep buying, etc. Software development is very expensive and is a, a continuous expense. There are people you subscribe to a uh, certain software so that you can be using it every day. Think about Netflix. I know some of you might be conversant with the Netflix. I don't use it much, but uh, Netflix is one of them. The software that somehow for you to keep on using it, you have to keep on paying it because they are giving you uh, services that are not one time. Netflix is one of them. Zoom, even Zoom, I have to pay every month for me to continue using that software, among others. We are saying that uh, software are normally very really expensive. They need to be keep on being paid for some of them are free of course now different software applications can be loaded on a hardware to learn different jobs that i know is quite obvious a software acts as an interface between the user and the hardware so this is like the, the the mediator between the hardware and the software hardware cannot do anything without the software the hardware is the cut of the computer then the software is can be said to be the soul of the of the computer so you cannot have a heart without a soul, and you cannot have a soul without a heart. Both are complementary to, to each other.